NBC 10 Boston, Boston's most accurate forecast. All right, we have yet another winter storm on the way, and I'm sure everyone is wondering how much snow are we going to get. Sydney. Well, we have some good totals that are going to be coming our way for the, especially the higher elevations. It's going to be locations in the low-lying spots that see a rain and then a wintry mix changing over to snow as we go Sunday into Monday. And locations that are going to see that rain to snow mix that does include areas like Boston, Brockton, the South Shore, and we're going to see that especially areas south of the Mass Pike. North of the Mass Pike, that's when we start to get into those mostly snow areas. It definitely could start off as a bit of rain and then transition to snow, but less and less rain the further north that you go. So at this time, we are seeing clouds building and off to the west, that's where that system is. It's going to be making its way to us as we head through the overnight hours. And then for the most part, if you're waking up and heading out the door anytime between around nine o'clock and noon, maybe that's a little after wake up time. That's when that rain is going to be coming in. So six, seven, eight o'clock starting to see rain uh, along the southern New England coast. And then that does continue to work its way north by around 11 o'clock to noon. We start to see some snow coming down in spots, some rain in others. Roads could get a bit iffy, but it's going to be more of a slushy snow coming down, uh, especially for areas like Worcester County. The Worcester Hills could be seeing all snow out of this one, but it's going to be a little bit more of a messy system until we get into that second round. So around six, seven, eight o'clock, that's when the second round comes in. We have just enough of a break that likely those temperatures will be cooling off. And then we're going to be seeing that snow coming down for most of us between uh, Sunday around midnight, Sunday into Monday, and then Monday throughout parts of the morning. We'll be clearing that out just before noon for most of us. So looking at that timeline a little differently, rain until around five, six o'clock, then that's when the best chance for a mix does come into the picture between seven o'clock and one o'clock in the morning and then changing over to all snow as we go into those early morning hours. So that snow potential is bringing five to eight for areas like Lemonster and Worcester, three to five inches the further east that you do go. That's what this lighter contour is right there. Areas like Natick seeing that three to five and then the further east you go right along the coast. Boston included in that along with Brockton and the South Shore, Plymouth County, one to three inches there. So really across the board, a wide array of snow totals, but we're going to be seeing the main limiting factor being these temperatures. Temperature is very close to freezing, if not just at that freezing mark, bringing down heavy, wet snow. That's when we're waking up tomorrow. That's what the temperatures are looking like. They will be rising throughout the day, though. Temperatures rising to the upper 30s as we go through our day tomorrow. So that's going to be another limiting factor. Once those temperatures do cool off, that's going to be when we start to see that snow accumulation. But on the other side of the system, by the time we go into Tuesday, high temperatures dropping to the 20s. So definitely get ready for that colder air to come our way on the other side of this. We see lots of sunshine Tuesday through Thursday, some clouds building Friday into Saturday, and we'll see temperatures very close to normal by mid next week. And that does stick around through the weekend. Darren. All right. Thank you for